Hey guys, it's me. 2020 is coming to an end. What a year it has been. Not only for us, but for everyone. It's been the year where we experienced a worldwide pandemic, where we didn't know what the future held, where people couldn't see family and friends, where people learnt and worked from home. A year that a lot of people struggled financially and the year where a lot of people lost their lives. But this was also the year where we learnt to appreciate what we had and not to stress about the things we cannot control. To love and appreciate the ones around us. It was the year where we were all put out of our comfort zone and where we lost the power to control some aspects of our lives. Really, in all, it made most of us come together and realise we, as the people, are all in this together. However, for us, this year was the year that we moved our family from Sydney to the Gold Coast, smack bang in the middle of a global pandemic. We battled borders closing, a broken down truck, bad weather, lack of job availabilities, a hard rental market and a whole lot of restrictions. This was the year where our babies grew into little people, where we learnt to overcome struggles, where we learnt more independence, we learnt to take risks. It was a year where the borders kept us away from our families and made us appreciate what we had. This year we definitely had our struggles but we had some amazing moments. We seen and learnt new things, our kids thrived and are enjoying every single day. Next year is another year, another chapter. For me, it's going to be a year of growth, self-love, good health, chasing dreams and a better mindset. I vow to myself to be a better mother and a better person, a stronger and healthier version of me, a happier and a more confident person, one who educates herself, betters herself, nourishes herself and is a leader for her pack. Thank you 2020, you've been alright, but let's make 2021 great. Thank you for everyone's love and support this year. Happy New Year everyone, see you next year. Much love from my family and I. Peace.